When winter fades and summer descends, the zealots flock to Oregon's Mount Hood in pursuit of the everlasting ski year. The only mountain in the U.S. to offer snow year-round, racers stay chasing gates, mogulers pound slush bumps, and park skiers trek to its famous features to stack clips for their edits. The bottom of its access road sits Government Camp, or Govy, you want to sound like you know. Beyond providing a home for them, the town is enlivened by these guests. Locals mingling with interlopers without pretense or misunderstanding. Run by skiers, for skiers, it is a prideful struggle to stay rid of bureaucracy and exceed expectations in the zero stoplight town. Flex, and this is Colin Sick, the originator of Die Govy Scum. Hi. Kelly from High Cascade Camp. Noah, we ripping Chevron. My name's Hot Dog, I work at the Rat Skeller. Shonsky, Govy General, the local skier. Zach Whitney. Uh, Matthew, I'm a camel toe lifty at Timberline. My name is Kyle, I'm from the Glazer McDozer. Some people call me Clementine because I'm a little orange. Or tearing it up or ripping in a tearing, and Mama Hood brings me joy because I uh, ski fast and eat ass and break my well, break my bones. <laughs> Enough of me being a corporate goon. This song is an ode to Portland. Julian, and it is D, Timberline worker, lemonade girl. Yeah, I'm too. Salt guy. October when we're getting our gas siphon and people's houses are getting robbed and there's not a restaurant opening during the camp and there's not a ski town that holds a bar to us and there's nothing open. Where are those cops then? And if not, I'll take my gear off and go ride the mountain bike park. Right. Like you can always find shit to do. It has a case, it's pink. It says 2.59 on it, but I think that's the time. <laughs> 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 don't push the scene, they make it awkward. When they thrive, they might be assholes. When they struggle, they might be fucking like clawing at the fucking like, please give me, give me your tips. Like, well, women's getting tough. I mean, I'm the same. Like, I get pissy no, if I don't get a, a tip. The same fucking animal in a different stream. Well, I think there should be a little level of respect. And different and that's the thing, is like, do you use a barbless hook or do you actually fish for the fucking animal? The gill. any other place I've been. I've been around for like for like not really. I'm excited to get out of here and go to Alaska this winter. Oh shit because we're Alaska. I've been here for 19 years at Alieska Resort. I'm really close with this whole scene especially. I, the scene too. Like, I like call Lex Lex is like my uncle. And then we're fucking setting the crew out to warm springs to go do some shit out there. Too. Are you doing the warm springs stuff? Yeah. No, not me personally. I'm gonna go fucking well, have hopefully help some guys. I have so, this Mark. You know, I have this Mark McKee board that I want to wrap around. Fuck yeah, that's sick, um, dude. I can't remember what I was talking to, but next event we're gonna do is he's gonna come up here and we're gonna talk about it. And like, yeah, yeah. So, it's not far away. We'll all, we'll all work together, dog. Follow us on Instagram, where we do most of our updates. Oh yeah. This next song was meant to be a theme song to a cartoon. Still thinking about coming out to Aspen? You need more coaches like you. I've thought about it. Yeah. There's no way. There's no way you're coming out? Why is that? 
I've been, I'm, I'm 34 now, and I've been with my girlfriend for about 10 years, and we just got into a new house. We got evicted out of the house we've been living in together. We were there for six and a half years. And so now I am adjusting to not living in Delhi. Domestication? I think I've been there. I don't have people at my house all the time. It's just her and I. Alright, best check right now. Let's talk to the fucking extendo. Get the free shirt. Go get you some. Jack? Hot dog. Am I on DMT right now? Are you an alien? No, I'm very real. Can you smoke my Um, I retired a couple of years ago, so that's why I made this film whole summer now. What was your career? I worked as a treatment center for autistic kids, emotionally disturbed teenagers. I was okay. a residential counselor. That's cool. So I, yeah, I did that for like 23 years. Wow. But uh, then COVID hit, and I was like, oh, I'm kind of done. And I was talking to all these older guys, and they're all, I was like, should I retire? And they go, if you can do it, do it. It's like, can I ask you, how old are you? 57. I never knew that. <laughs> That's, I've always been curious as well. For a 57 year old who drinks and smokes cigarettes, you look fucking great. <laughs> Haven't given any land an area for people that have struggled to survive to so keep these resorts alive. So what are we supposed to do? Incorporate? We we're self police. Un we're unincorporated. That's the thing. Right. I want you to, to recognize what's going on here. Let me take the camera for a minute. This is government camp. There is no other experience like this, and this is your filmmaker, Jack. Jack. I'm Jack. Mobile looks like coach. Mobile coach, dude. This is the most respectful skate dog event I've been to in a really long time. I swear I'm honored that, that it's 320. And pick up your garbage. Yeah. Government camp can be brutish, but it has managed to keep its doors open remaining the same as it did 10 years ago as it did 20, while many of its ilk have been erased or succumbed to hipster havens swollen with coffee shops and dispensaries. The busy summer season ends quickly, so goodbyes are usually moot. You're probably the fourth close friend they've said goodbye to that week. Due to this, locals preserve the hill with determined attitude. Drink your beers, but don't leave your cans. Ski your sticks down to the core, but don't go veering into somebody else's lane. Respect will have you celebrated and continuous infractions will have you run out of town with pitchforks and torches. Here lies one of the last skier's ski towns, brimming with relentless optimism and adoration, carrying it farther than anything could. We love this life and hope you love yours.